What are the plagues? The fact that here in America, it's okay for assisted suicide. You know in certain states, they have something known as euthanasia. All right? Life is too hard. Let me take a drug. Life is real hard for me. Let me take a Prozac pill. Life is too hard. Life is too hard, and guess what? You need to repent, come back to your nationality, and learn the ways of God. That's a simple solution. And after that, get yourself a bottle of yaya and some wine and then send some prayers up. That's right. That's the case. All right? But here in America, all they do is promote drugs. All right? They promote drugs on a high level. But you know, sugar, sugar is a damn drug. Sugar is supposed to be brown. Vanilla is brown. But the so-called white man takes it, bleaches it, and sells you a drug on the market. You cook your food. And you're thinking that it aids you or benefits you. The so-called white man destroyed every damn thing. The, the water that you have to drink from. The food that you have to eat and consume is sprayed with chemicals. Right. It's sprayed with chemicals that's causing cancer in your communities. Cancer in homes. And you wonder why you're sick. You eating meat that has been tainted. Don't you know that the meat that you eat is supposed to be killed a certain way? Right. Curated a certain way? But you go to McDonald's and Burger King, guess what? You eating meat from an animal that's been socked up inside oh, the head. Oh, man. That's been beaten. And all kind of chemicals go into the bloodstream that makes that meat tainted, man. McDonald's and Burger King. And that's the same meat they sell in your neighbor and your communities. So the Lord is telling us to what? To come out of the ways of America. Stop accepting the ways of America. Watch. Drop what you got there. Give me Deuteronomy. Kill your people. Give me the other one. All right. You're special. You so-called black Hispanics are special in the eyes of God. But you get mad when you tell them that you're God's chosen people. You get angry. You want to fight us. You want to curse us out. But if we call you the minority, if we call you Gentiles, you accept that gladly. If you put on a super tie and tap dance for you, we have a, a look. What the hell is so called white man doing in Harlem? Walking freely. But be chased out of Harlem. You the reason why the rent is so damn high in New York City. Get out of damn Harlem, man. Back in the 90s, they would have more deaths than Clinton. I don't think was on the plane. When that building was shut down, they made sure they ran fast the three train or the eight train. They made sure they got up out of here. But now they're comfortable around you. They're comfortable in your neighborhood. they comfortable, comfortable calling you a nigga in your damn face. Because they know you can do nothing about it. Yo, what I want? Of course, go check out Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 2. For thou art a holy people. God called you so-called blacks and Spanish what? A holy people. A holy people, a true people. Why are you true? Because why? You're the only people on the planet Earth that can claim a direct bloodline back to a man by the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world calls ignorant Jesus Christ. That's right. A so-called black man. You're the only people that can brag about that. That's right. You're the only people that can brag about being the descendant of kings, princes. The Heavenly Father has made you better than all other nations on the planet Earth. That's why you can outsport the so-called white man in any event. Whether it's basketball, whether it's football, whether it's boxing, even on the intellectual level, if you go into books and you study and you read, you will understand that we were the architects of great monuments in Europe. We helped build the pyramids, the Sphinx. All these things was a part of our culture, what we instituted and the other nations took from us and claimed it as their own. So we have to come to understand that we are the true people of God. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2 For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God and the Lord has chosen thee to be a, a peculiar people unto himself above all nations Above who? Above all nations So why you want to be equal to so-called white men? Why you want to be equal to Chinese and the Arabs? Why you want to have a rainbow coalition and sing We Shall Overcome with your enemy? 
Why you want to do that for? You're supposed to want to get wet with your people first. That's how it goes. Every animal look after its own kind. Except for the so-called blacks and Spanish, you look after everybody else. Except for your own. Except for your own. When the Lord raised you up to be a special people, to be different above all nations of the planet Earth.